Now I'm going to show you how to do my personal favorite, the heart design. For this design, you need four colors, two for your heart and two for the background. I chose pink and black for mine. Fold your string in half. Make sure you use all your strings to make a knot a half an inch from the top. This knot will be used to hold your butterfly clip in place and finish your bracelet. Now the pattern of your colors is very important for this one. And the number two slot should be the color of your heart. The number three will be the color of your background. Four will be the color of your heart again. Five and six will be the color of the background. And since my background's black, seven will be the color of your heart again, eight will be the background, and nine will be the heart. Just to clarify, two is the heart, three is the background, four is the heart, five and six are the background, seven's the heart, eight's the background, and nine's the heart. This pattern starts out just like the arrow pattern. Pick up the number two in your right hand and the number three in your left and do two right-handed knots. Put your number three in your two slot, pick up your number four and do two more right-handed knots. Four moves to three, pick up five and two more right-handed knots. Make sure you're pulling your string tight towards the top. Now you'll put that string in the number five slot Pick up the number nine with your left hand, the number eight with your right, and it's two left-handed knots. Use the backwards four, place your eight and your nine, and pick up your number seven string. Two more left-handed knots, place your seven and your eight, and pick up the six. Do two more left-handed knots. And place your six and your seven and pick up your five and do two more left-handed knots. Place those two strings in the five and six slot and we're going to work our way from the outside again. Pick up the number two with your, with your right hand, the number three with your left and do two right-handed knots. Place it in the number two slot and pick up the number four and do two more right-handed knots. Put the four and the three and pick up the five, two more right-handed knots. Then you'll place the five and the four and place that string in the five slot. Pick up the nine with your left hand, the eight with your right. Use the reverse four to do two left-handed knots. eight and the nine and pick up the seven and do two more left-handed knots. The seven moves to the eight and pick up the six for two more left-handed knots. You should now have two black in the center and make two more left-handed knots. Now if your strings ever get loose, you can just pull them from the bottom to make them tight. Now pay attention closely here. Pick up the number three with your left hand and pick up the number two with your right and do two left-handed knots. This will switch the position. So now your background color should be in two and your heart color in three. We'll do this on the other side by picking up the number eight with our right hand and the number nine with our left except now you're going to do two right-handed knots. The heart should be your number eight and your background should be number nine now. Now we're going to take the number three string in our right hand and the number four in our left and do two right-handed knots. Place that one in your three, pick up the five and do two more right-handed knots. The five should move to the four and place that string in your fifth slot. Now pick up the eight with your left hand and the seven with your right and do two left-handed knots. Remember, this is the reverse four. Place the seven in the eight and pick up the six and do two more left-handed knots. Six moves to the seven 
pick up the five, and two more left-handed knots. Now pick up your number three with your left hand, and your number two with your right, and do two left-handed knots. Put the two in the three, and your last one in the two, move to the other side, pick up the eight with your right hand, the nine with your left hand, and do two right-handed knots. Place the nine in the eight, and the pink will move to your nine. Now pick up the three in your right hand, and the four in your left, and do two right-handed knots. Place the four in the three, pick up the five, and do two more right-handed knots. Place the five in the four, and your leftover string in the five. Now pick up the number eight in your left hand, and the seven in your right, and do two left-handed knots. Place the seven in the eight, pick up your number six, and do two more left-handed knots. Place the six and the seven, pick up your five, and do two left-handed knots. Place those strings back in the middle. Now working from the outside again, pick up your number two in your right, your three in your left, and do two right-handed knots. Move the three to the two, and pick up the four, two more right-handed knots, Move the four to the three and pick up the five, and do two more right-handed knots. Place the four and the five in your leftover string in the five slot. Pick up your nine in your left, the next in the number eight slot, and do two left-handed knots. Move the eight to the nine and pick up your number seven, and do two more left-handed knots. Move the seven to the eight, pick up the six, and do two more left-handed knots. Move the six to the seven, and to complete the bottom of your heart, do two left-handed knots with the five and six strings. Place them back in the middle, then we'll start on the outside again. Pick up the number two and the number three, and make two right-handed knots, Place the three and the two, and pick up your next string in four, and make two more right-handed knots. Place the four and the three, and pick up the five, and make two more right-handed knots. Place the five and the four, and your leftover string in the five. Pick up the nine with your left hand, and the eight with your right, and do two left-handed knots. Move the eight to the nine, Pick up the seven, and do two more left-handed knots. Pick up the six, and do two more left-handed knots. Then move it over to the seven slot. Then pick up the five, and we'll do two more left-handed knots, and place these strings in the middle. Now you've completed your first heart. To keep moving on the heart pattern, Take your number three thread and do two left-handed knots with your number two thread. The black should be in the two and the pink should be in the three. And we're gonna do the same going out on the other side. Do a right-handed knot with your eight and nine. So the pink should move to the middle and the black should be in the nine. Now pick up your number three thread and your number four and do two right-handed knots. Move the four to three, pick up the five and do two right-handed knots. Place the five and the four in your leftover string in the five and now we're working from the other side again. Picking up the eight, you're gonna do two left-handed knots on the number seven string Move the seven to the eight, pick up the six, 
and do two more left-handed knots. And now both pinks should be in the middle again. And then you'll do two left-handed knots. Place them both in the middle. Go back to your number three string and do two left-handed knots with your number two string. The pink should be on the outside, the black should be on the inside, and now moving over to the other side, take your number eight and do two right-handed knots with your number nine. Place the black back on the inside and the pink on the outside. Now pick up your number three in your right hand and your number four and do two right-handed knots. Move the four to the three and pick up the five and do two more right-handed knots. The five should move to the four and your leftover string should go on the five. Pick up your number eight and with your number seven, do two left-handed knots. Pick up your next string moving towards the center and do two more left-handed knots. Now both black should be in the center to do two more left-handed knots. And now we're back where we started again and you just pick up the two and start working your way to the middle and repeat the pattern. The more knots you make, the more hearts you'll create and the more hearts you create, the longer your bracelet will start to grow. As you can tell, at the end my string started to get really short. This is where the butterfly clip came in handy because I could move it down and it would help keep my strings in place. Now that I've made a lot of hearts, I'm going to check to see if this fits. This one's just perfect for me, so I'm going to show you how to finish it. Place your bracelet back under the butterfly clip, take three strings from the left and three from the right, this will leave two in the middle to create your braid. The braid will help you knot off your bracelet to finish it. Make a nice tight braid. And when you finish your braid, loop it around, pull all the strings through the middle, and then push your knot up towards your friendship bracelet, nice and tight. I'm going to make another knot right on top of that. Pull all your th strings through the middle and push it nice and tight right on top. Now you can unclip your friendship bracelet and that knot will fit perfectly into the loop you made in the beginning. Just cut off the ends and now you're ready to share them with your best friend, your mom, or maybe even your boyfriend. <laughs>